and decided to work out at home and not go to the gym today. Man, I've been getting a lot of messages lately from people asking, and I mean all throughout the pandemic, but I think more so now that it's winter of, you know, how do you stay motivated doing home workouts? How do you stay motivated with your injury? I've been injured for two years rehabbing. Um, one of the things is, is yeah, like motivation will come and go. And if you've seen some of my like past videos, you'll know that I always preach, you know, discipline over motivation because motivation will come in waves. It's not really reliable, right? Like there's little tips and tricks, and I did a podcast on this, of things that you can do to get motivated but there's still gonna be times that it's really hard to get going. There's gonna be times where you just wanna stay on the couch, keep watching Netflix, um, not get up. And honestly, that was partially me this morning. I was just watching the Dubai CrossFit Championships. Uh, I got sucked into the YouTube vortex and I was just sitting there and I was like, I have so much work to catch up on on my computer. And I was like, wait a second, like I need to get my training in. That's what's the most important to me. One of the things that I did is I just, you know, like stood up. I got up first and foremost. I can't just let myself keep sitting there because otherwise I will keep negotiating for reasons to keep just sitting on the couch. Second thing was I, you know, I made up my drink, got some water. Um, I usually drink, you know, the, that drink when I'm um, training, the electrolytes when I'm training. So that just makes me feel like, okay, boom, like I'm going to do something. I had my workout already pre-written on my phone, on my training for the day. So that really helps. I don't have to like think of what I'm going to do now. Then I put on some music. Before I even got changed, I just put on some music, plugged it into our speaker back there, started kind of like dancing around to the music. Um, and that actually really helps just like elevate my mood, put on some positive beats, maybe a workout playlist. You're already kind of switching your brain into training mode. Then, you know, threw on the training clothes, started talking to myself about how it's actually gonna be a fun opportunity to train at home today instead of from the gym. Using some of those tools to kind of get going. Also remembering my why, like what's important to me? Why am I training? Why does that matter? And then thinking about like how good I'll feel afterwards. One of the things is to kind of create a separation. There's a reason why you go to the gym and then you get into workout mode. That's why I said like have the music, have the, the drink that you drink, put on your clothes, like get into that whole headspace of it's training time. So I'm gonna do two nine minute AM wraps with a two minute rest in between. So basically the goal is like pacing, obviously two minutes to rest when you've done nine minutes of work isn't that long, which is why I have to look at this as like a 20 minute workout with that little two minute break in between. And it's gonna be 500 meter bike on the concept to 10 jumping lunges and 10 dumbbell deadlifts with 250 pound dumbbells. That's the heaviest dumbbells we have in our house. We actually tried to buy dumbbells recently and got completely scammed out of all our money. That's the last time I'm trying to buy used dumbbells. Anyways, I hope that helped. I know I post some other videos that are more like motivation, let's go. Maybe that'll help you get the kickstart you need. Go watch one of them. Uh, go check out my TikTok. Either way, like let's go get after it and don't forget to go all in today. I also wanted to add one more thing before we get this workout started is that I know there will definitely be people who will be like, no, as a pro athlete, people are motivated all the time. Or like, if you really want it, you're gonna be like, let's go every fucking day. And um, how does that help anybody who's not feeling like that in the moment? There's definitely days that I do feel like that. And there's definitely because my whole life has been like around sport and training. But yeah, most days I am feeling like, let's, let's go, let's hit it hard. That's not the reality of every day. And I think we learn more from, you know, those tough days and sharing those days that we're not feeling like it. That's what's actually gonna, gonna help people. So we need both like that hype motivation as well as that like real talk when you're not feeling it. So just don't let anybody shame you about not feeling motivated in the moment because we all go through it. was really fast. It's good to have you guys here, but uh, I'll let you go on your own way. I won't take you, uh, make you come and do workout or am wrap number two, because it's time for you guys to do your own. So thanks for training with me. I'll see you next time.